Do you know how your financial choices influence your future? Do you dream of achieving financial freedom? In this video, you will learn about the eight strategies to build wealth. So don't waste time and leave your like and subscribe so you don't miss the chance to thrive economically. And if you're going to put these strategies into practice, write, I will prosper here in the comments. Stay until the end of the video and pay close attention to strategy number seven as it's the most important. Strategy number one, the utility strategy. When you aim to acquire financial resources, it's common to visualize all the possibilities it can offer. Acquiring a shiny vehicle, enjoying a fancy meal at a prestigious restaurant, or taking a trip to a paradise destination. If you thought of any of these elements, it shows that you understand the true purpose of money, to be a tool that enables us to obtain what we desire or need. However, not everyone fully grasps the real utility that money can provide. This is where many make mistakes. For instance, if you have a relatively low income, you might believe that having more resources will solve most of your problems. However, it's essential to bear in mind that money brings along a series of other considerations. Working more hours to earn more can lead to relationship problems and a lack of time to take care of your own health. Yet, don't worry, this doesn't mean you shouldn't seek to increase your income. If you're solving more problems than you're creating, it's an indication that you're improving your quality of life. It's crucial to understand that no one is entirely free from problems, even millionaires. They also face their own concerns, such as family members asking for financial help or the possibility of losing everything they've gained. Strategy number two, the time strategy. You've probably heard that time is one of the most precious resources we have. When speaking with successful individuals, it's often noticeable how much they value this precious commodity. However, many don't fully comprehend the importance of time when it comes to prosperity and end up spending their entire lives without achieving this desire. The truth is that those who can control time often also control finances. Now you might be wondering how this is possible. We'll share some key ideas that will enlighten your understanding. Firstly, it's crucial to understand that trading time for money, based solely on the hours available in a day, is demanding. Unless you have a highly valued skill or talent, achieving a six-figure income solely through your individual physical effort is challenging. Therefore, it's vital to seek other ways to leverage your earnings. As time progresses, life's demands increase. As we mature, we encounter a series of responsibilities. Owning a home, nurturing healthy relationships, raising offspring, and taking care of other spheres of life becomes a progressively larger challenge. At this point, we realize that time is no longer a resource we can simply increase. It becomes a constrained element that we need to manage shrewdly. When we examine the Forbes Billionaires list, we can glean many lessons about the interconnection between time, money, and success. These individuals understand that they need to go beyond the 24 hours everyone has in a day. They devise strategies and ventures that enable them to leverage other people's time, money, and knowledge. They are aware that true wealth lies in building a lasting legacy that goes beyond their own existence. If you aspire to achieve the coveted wealth, it's crucial to learn how to cleverly optimize time. This entails giving time its due, allowing professional experience to flourish, learning to start a promising venture, understanding the power of the stock market and the benefits of compound interest. These knowledges aren't acquired overnight, but are gained through a journey of continuous learning. As Warren Buffett, one of the most respected investors of our time, aptly stated, wealth is built with time and patience. It's not just about seeking instant profits, but about building a solid foundation for your financial destiny. Therefore, seize every opportunity to learn, evolve, and broaden your perspective on money and time. Strategy number three, the protection strategy. Have you ever stopped to analyze why you fight so intensely? In reality, the answer is simple. We work to cover expenses and ensure a peaceful future, especially during retirement. However, many people are doing this in the wrong way. 
Most manage to accumulate resources after years of effort, but don't understand how to properly safeguard them, which ends up extending the journey. Having a protection strategy involves possessing skills to protect yourself from adversaries who wish to take possession of your money. Believe it or not, these opponents are everywhere. It could be that dream vacation package your spouse has been requesting for a long time, which would deplete your years of savings. It could be that spacious house your parents expect you to acquire to uphold the family's honor. It could be that luxurious car worth over 300,000 reais that you long for to add some thrill to your life. Each of these desires represents a financial adversary that steers you away from your main goal, financial independence. Notice, we can all make some extra income here and there. What sets apart those who become rich and keep prospering from those who struggle financially is how they handle money. This is extremely crucial because just as it's futile to eat poorly and try to compensate with excessive food, it's also futile to try and solve spending problems simply by spending more money. It's necessary to adopt a mindset of financial stewardship, understanding that money is a valuable resource that needs safeguarding. You need to learn to set priorities and make conscious choices. This doesn't mean living a life of deprivation, but finding a balance between expenses and the need to protect your assets. One of the financial safeguard strategies is creating an emergency fund. Having a sum of money set aside for emergencies and unforeseen situations provides peace of mind and prevents debt during times of crisis. Furthermore, it's important to carefully assess expenses and avoid unnecessary waste. Making mindful and planned purchases, researching prices, comparing options, and avoiding impulse buying all contribute to safeguarding your money. Another relevant aspect is seeking knowledge and financial education. The more informed you are about investments, financial planning, and asset protection strategies, the better equipped you'll be to make smart decisions regarding your money. Look for books to read, participate in courses, and seek guidance from qualified professionals. Remember that safeguarding your money isn't just about avoiding expenses or storing a sum in a bank account. It's important to consider diversifying investments as a way to guard against market fluctuations and maximize returns. Seek to explore different investment options such as stocks, real estate, investment funds, and private retirement plans and evaluate which best fits your goals and risk profile. In summary, the safeguard strategy is essential for achieving financial independence. Having safeguarding skills means learning to defend your money from financial adversaries that may arise along the way. This involves setting priorities, creating a contingency reserve, avoiding waste, seeking financial knowledge, and diversifying your investments. By adopting a mindset of financial safeguarding, you strengthen your assets and move towards the desired financial independence. Strategy number four, the strategy of minimal savings. Throughout your life, you've likely often heard about the importance of saving money. Your family and colleagues have always emphasized the need to set aside resources for the future. Newspaper headlines often highlight savings suggestions, from stashing money under the mattress to the various options banks offer to deposit your savings. In reality, saving a sum of money is not a guarantee of wealth or financial prosperity, as many individuals mistakenly presume. What few understand is that by depositing your money in a bank, the main beneficiaries are the owners of the financial institution. Banks make significant profits by lending their customers money at high interest rates. However, this doesn't mean you should simply give up on the idea of saving money. The most effective tactic involves depositing only the essential amount in the bank for emergencies and to cover daily expenses. This practice involves creating an emergency fund that should amount to about three to six months of your usual expenses. The most intriguing part lies in the destination of the rest of your money. Instead of leaving it idle in a bank account, you can choose to invest in financial assets that provide better returns.
Among the available options are government-issued bonds, capable of offering solid returns, real estate investment funds that allow you to become a shareholder in real estate ventures and earn income through rents and property appreciation, and stocks of solid companies, representing ownership and profits in corporations. However, it's crucial to emphasize that the realm of investments requires knowledge and understanding of the risks involved. It's essential to seek guidance from qualified professionals, such as financial advisors, and dedicate time to educate yourself about the various options available in the financial market. Keeping up with economic news and carefully analyzing investment opportunities are fundamental steps to make the most of your resources potential. So let's remember, the key to financial success lies in saving the bare minimum and investing as much as possible. That way, you'll be building a solid path towards financial independence, capitalizing on growth opportunities and multiplying your resources. Strategy number five, the expectation strategy. If you're like most people, you've probably told yourself that once you achieve a consistent sum, happiness will be guaranteed. Many people say, when I earn a salary of 3,000 reais per month, then I'll be happy. However, upon reaching that level, they think, no, now I need 5,000 and then 10,000. This cycle is endless because we constantly desire more without enjoying what we've already achieved. This doesn't mean we shouldn't pursue financial goals. However, postponing happiness for the future is a significant mistake that most people make daily. And why is this so relevant? Because the reality is that we don't fully internalize this idea. We keep yearning for more, stretching our goals further and further. And the problem is that when we yearn for what we don't have, frustration and dissatisfaction arise. Suppose you landed a new job last year, paying you 5,000 per month. You feel extremely happy and satisfied. After all, it was what you considered deserving. However, after a year, even though you excel at work and gain more experience, you still earn the same 5,000 per month. Then you start thinking that you deserve a salary of 8,000. This difference of 3,000 between what you earn and what you believe you deserve is what is called the expectation gap. As long as this gap persists, it's challenging to achieve true happiness. Those who have 11,000 per month and still feel dissatisfied because they believe they deserve a salary of 17,000 contrast with those who earn 7,000 and are fully content because they didn't expect more than 1,500 per month finding joy in the income they receive. It's crucial to close this expectation gap. And the way to do it is simple. Either you strive more to have more, or you reduce your expectations and content yourself with what you have. As long as this gap persists, achieving true financial satisfaction will be challenging. Remember that happiness isn't just about the amount of money you have, but about how you manage your expectations and find satisfaction in achieved goals. Learn to value what you have and seek a healthy balance between ambition and gratitude. This way, you'll be closer to a financially happy and fulfilled life. Strategy number six, the obligation strategy. Have you ever reflected on the most enjoyable part of being a child? It's not just about playing during breaks or having a mother choose your clothes. The true wonder of childhood lies in the ability to enjoy life without the responsibilities and worries of the adult world. Unfortunately, we cannot maintain this state of complete happiness indefinitely. There comes a time when it's necessary to take on some responsibilities as we mature. We take on responsibilities at work, in the family, and especially in the acquisitions we make and the debts we incur. Acquiring things can be exciting as they provide utility and comfort. For example, when we acquire a home, we get a place to raise our family and hopefully an asset that may appreciate over time. However, not everything is rosy. Acquiring a house can become a complicated process. You need to save considerably to make a full payment, which is the most advantageous option, or face monthly mortgage payments. Additionally, there's the concern about repairs. 
and we become restricted to a specific city or neighborhood. However, even facing these obligations, financing in a country like Brazil with an unstable economy and volatile interest rates is never the most appropriate option. Even when buying your own home, debts can turn into a financial prison, limiting our freedom and flexibility to enjoy life. When we look at other debts, such as those from credit cards, the advantage is practically non-existent. While we might enjoy a bit more immediate comfort, we are tormented by interest and incessant payments. Every accumulated debt represents a fraction of our committed income, reducing our ability to invest, save, and genuinely enjoy life. It's crucial to understand that true wealth is not related to the quantity of things we own, but to our ability not to be dominated by them. The truly prosperous understand that financial freedom is the real treasure. Having a luxury sports car or an imposing mansion may seem appealing, but if these acquisitions start dictating our lifestyle and subjecting us to suffocating financial obligations, they lose their value. The key to true wealth lies in escaping financial chains. It's very important to prioritize paying off debts such as those from credit cards, abandon the use of overdrafts, and avoid unnecessary financing. By achieving this financial freedom, we will feel completely fulfilled as we'll have the ability to enjoy life, make choices with more autonomy, and direct our resources towards what truly matters to us. Remember that true wealth is not measured by what we possess materially, but by the freedom and financial peace we attain. By freeing yourself from the shackles of debts, you'll be paving the way for a more complete and prosperous life. Invest in your financial freedom and experience the feeling of being genuinely prosperous, regardless of your material possessions. Strategy number seven, the planning strategy. When it comes to achieving financial prosperity, planning is essential. The mistake of not having a clear plan for your finances can result in unnecessary difficulties and stress. Having a solid financial plan is like having a map that guides your actions and decisions. It allows you to set clear goals, prioritize, and take consistent steps toward your financial success. Without a plan, it's easy to get lost along the way and make impulsive decisions that can compromise your long-term finances. When creating a financial plan, you should consider several important aspects. First, set realistic and measurable financial goals. Ask yourself what you want to achieve financially and set deadlines for each objective. This may include saving for a home, creating an emergency fund, and investing in education. It's crucial to analyze your current situation and understand your income, expenses, and consumption patterns. Develop a realistic budget that takes into account your monthly income and expenses and identify areas where you can reduce unnecessary expenses and save more. Another important element of financial planning is creating an investment plan. By investing your money wisely, you can make it work for you and achieve significant returns in the long run. Research different investment options, such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and real estate, and diversify your portfolio to reduce risks. Additionally, remember to consider your financial security, such as obtaining adequate insurance to protect your assets and health. Planning should also include regularly paying off debts to avoid high interest rates and maintain good financial health. It's important to review and adjust your financial plan regularly, especially as your circumstances and goals change over time. Be open to making adjustments as needed and seek professional guidance, if necessary, to maximize your financial growth potential. Strategy number eight, the persistence strategy. Have you heard the popular proverb that says, persistence is the path to success? Well, this expression is more than true when it comes to enriching and achieving financial freedom. Often people give up on their financial goals because they encounter difficulties, failures or moments of uncertainty. However, it's important to remember that becoming wealthy isn't an easy journey. 
It requires facing adversities, learning from mistakes, and persisting. Even when everything seems challenging, it's through persistence that challenges are overcome and financial success is achieved. Throughout the journey, you may face moments of doubt, fatigue, and demotivation. But remember that every step taken towards your financial goals is a step in the right direction. Stay strong, adjust your strategies when necessary, and keep moving forward. Insist on seeking financial knowledge, on discipline to save and invest, on determination to overcome difficulties, and on the courage to make the best decisions for your finances. Well done. It's evident that you're already putting the eighth strategy into practice and staying persistent until the end of the video. Since you've come this far, type persistence here in the comments. To conclude, look for another video on the channel so you can continue moving towards your dreams. Until the next video, 